The vast majority of learner drivers get this wrong at some point during their driving lessons. I've even had some fail their driving test for it. It happens at temporary traffic lights, which are normally found near roadworks. So what is it they do wrong? Well, they stop at a red traffic light. But surely you're supposed to stop at red traffic lights. How could you possibly fail a driving test for stopping at a red traffic light? What you need to know about traffic lights is they don't apply to themselves. The traffic lights actually apply to this red sign. When the light is red, you must not pass this red sign. But if you have already passed this red sign when the lights turn red, you should continue. I'll say it again. If you have passed this red sign and then the traffic lights go red, make sure you continue. If you don't continue, you will probably end up blocking the road and causing a traffic jam. They don't always put the sign next to the traffic light simply because there is a lack of space. But you need to remember that the traffic light applies to the sign and not the light. Sometimes the traffic lights and the sign can be together. In either case, make sure you stop far enough back from the sign to allow you to move away easily. The same thing applies to permanent traffic lights. As you can see in this clip, these two vehicles have already passed the two stop lines. But once the lights turn red, they actually continue and finish the junction. This is to make the junction clear for others who are about to come. It's perfectly normal to feel that you need to stop when you see a red light. But you need to remember that if you have passed the stop line or stop sign, you need to continue if it is safe. Well, that's all for this one. As usual, please comment for what videos you want to see in the future and please subscribe to get those future videos.